Elisa Pitertseva's private school was in high demand when it opened its doors two years ago. The classrooms filled up quickly and Pitertseva hired new staff, freeing her to spend more time with her daughter, Adeline. But today, with Russia's economy faltering, she is fighting to keep the business afloat. The rent has increased, so we've had to increase the tuition. Of course, there are parents who are unhappy about it. The school's revenue remains relatively steady at 30,000 rubles a month, or about $550. But after a steep drop in the value of the ruble, prices in Russia have soared. The cost of running a business is up, and so is the cost of living. You can see that cherries of 473 rubles. I remember when it was only 100 or 200 rubles. Well, how can we manage? We've stopped buying processed cheese, the kind that comes in slices. It's my favorite. We're eating more grains instead. These days we're living with the slogan, there's only today, don't think about tomorrow. Peter Tseva and her husband have one extra resource to draw on her parents' large garden, where fresh food is cheap and abundant. It would be much more difficult to live without this garden. It's helping us save about 30 percent of our family budget. With the help of some homegrown food, this young family is getting by, but their plans to buy an apartment or expand their business are on hold indefinitely. In a time of economic troubles, Planning for the future is a luxury they can't afford.